flow of people leaving Ukraine continues unabated. Vaudreuil so resident refugee. Christian Tetero's mind is miles away at the Romanian border with Ukraine, where thousands of refugees have been gathering. You can imagine they're completely exhausted, they're confused, they have no idea what's going on. He's going there to help. He leaves Sunday to join his brother Sebastian. We're about uh, three kilometers from the border. Who runs a Canadian-based charity, Pilgrim Movement. Sebastian says they've been in the area for weeks. I am uh, providing a corridor, a safe corridor for refugees, in, especially mothers with children and elderly people. And I'm also focusing on the African students that are stuck here at the border. He and his volunteers are providing food, housing and transportation at four border crossings. I have corridors towards Western Europe, towards Italy, France, Spain, Germany, England and Ireland. According to him, connections in Canada are in the works. The problem, Christian points out, is that the refugee issue will get worse quickly. According to UNICEF, nearly 140,000 Ukrainian citizens entered Romania since Russia invaded Ukraine. What are you going to do next week when there's going to be a wave of another 100,000? And in two weeks when it's going to be 500,000? He plans to help his brother with the logistics and they're appealing to the public for help, Sometimes especially for accommodation okay. and transportation Everything to the refugees' can. country of choice. We take daughter, dog, only documents and left. The Canadian government has two special programs to assist Ukrainian nationals to come to Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau said he's not ruling out airlifts as an option for refugees. Christian and his brother hope they get the help they need. This project, they say, is close to their heart. 32 years ago, I was a refugee myself. He fled Romania during the revolution. Now he's returning to help others fleeing another conflict. Phil Carpenter, Global News. Vaudreuil Dorian.